Gordon felt worn out. You need maintenance, decided the fat controller. The other engines will have to take the express while we mend you. All the engines enjoyed pulling the express, but none more so than James. He loved rushing through the stations, watching everyone marvel at his red paint. He felt very pleased with himself. 7101 was also eager for a turn with the express. Though the engines had welcomed him, his temperamental engine was a source of great frustration. James was especially annoyed at having to play Rescue Engine. While Gordon was away, the weather changed. Rain poured from the sky, making the rails slippery. James was worried. He knew that Gordon's hill would be difficult to climb. One wet morning, there were more coaches and passengers than ever. The fat controller had told James the express was to be a double header. James was relieved. Until he saw the engine backing down in front of him. Good morning, James, tooted 7101 cheerfully. Ready for a good run? It'll have to be better than good, grunted James. 7101 said nothing. He was determined not to fail. The engines thundered down the line. They raced through Edward Station, and 7101 grew more confident. Here we go, here we go, he growled. Go faster, go faster, barked James. 7101's engine roared. James's boiler strained. And soon, they were over the top of the hill. They rolled into the station at the other end of the line right on time. An unfriendly face stood waiting. Well, 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 Spam Ken smirked. What do we have from the Nowhere Railway today? A clapped-out steamer and a non-standard diesel. I can almost see the appeal of 7101 if they're keeping something like you in service. James was just about to tell Spam Ken just what something like him thought. But 7101 spoke first. James is stronger and more reliable than you'll ever be. I'd like to see you try to take this train on your own. Why, I could manage that train easily, said Spamkin, with feeling. An engine of my type can handle the heaviest trains. That's why I'm here, and you're there with them, 7101. Ha! <laughs> Spamcan chortled away, but 7101 was unimpressed. Oh, take no notice of him, 7101 advised. He just thinks everywhere should be like the other railway. Hmm. James said nothing. He hadn't expected 7101 to stand up for him. The next day, 7101 took charge of the express. He was enjoying himself, but felt nervous all the same. Mustn't break down, he thought. I'd never hear the end of it. James watched him go past. Best be ready for a rescue operation, James, remarked the driver. That engine of his is growling like a bear. 7101 tried hard, but his efforts were in vain. He coughed, spluttered, and stopped at the crest of Gordon's Hill. Bother, he huffed. At once, James was ordered to leave his trucks and go to the rescue. He arrived at Gordon's Hill and found the forlorn diesel. Whatever happened to you? James asked with stinging rhetoric. I'm sorry, 7101 frowned. Spamcan will have a field day with this. James's eyes flickered. He had an idea. Well, let's give him something to talk about, he smirked. 
while 7101's engine was tended to, James went to the rear of the long train. Soon, all was ready. Puffing and growling, the two engines got the coaches moving. They sped down the line, making up for lost time. They pulled into the station, two minutes early. Spamcan was shocked. The train was so long that he couldn't see James. I say, exclaimed Spamcan, however did you bring that train in by yourself? Oh well, chuckled 7101, I have my ways. Perhaps one day you'll be as strong and reliable as I am. <laughs> Spamcan was speechless and rumbled away without another word. He didn't notice James come chortling alongside. Their trick had worked. I doubt we'll have any more trouble with him, James grinned. Well done with the express, Bear. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon? asked 7101, astonished. James explained what his driver had said. What do you say? asked James. You're not a Sodor engine until you have a name. 7101 was delighted. The name stuck, and soon he was known across the whole island as Bear. It wasn't just the name that made him proud, however. To be referred to as a Sodor engine, and by James no less, truly made him feel a part of the railway.